Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Again, so thankful that you're with me today as we study the Word together. I'm reminded of the Lord's words where two or three of you are gathered in my name. There am I in the midst. And so let's go to him in prayer today as we know that he's right here with us as we study his Word. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful that you are with us, that we can count on you to be with us particularly when we're in prayer and in the study of your word. So today, Lord, we ask that you would open our hearts and minds, our eyes and ears to receive those things that you'd have us to know about you, your son Jesus, your mighty grace, and Lord, your ways that you want us to be in this world. We bless you and we thank you again for today. Ask that you bless our time together in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Obtained an Inheritance, and it's taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 11. Paul the Apostle declared to the Ephesian church members that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ. And this included the things which are both in heaven, which are in earth, even in him. In chapter 1 and verse 11 of the book of Ephesians, Paul shared how we have obtained an inheritance, where we read, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. The verse begins, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Paul began with the words, in whom, or within whom, also we have obtained an inheritance, which is all one Greek word, klero, which means cast, chose, a lot, assigned, determined by lots. In God's perfect timing, Paul and the Ephesian Christians were chosen and assigned by him. The verse goes on to say, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. Paul added being predestinated, which means being predetermined, decided in advance and appointed beforehand, decreed from eternity, foreordained, according to or down from, throughout, toward, and along the purpose, which means the setting forth of a thing, placing of it in view, and a proposal of him, which refers to God Almighty, who works or operates, puts forth, effects, displays his activities, and shows his self-operative in all things, which refers to each and every, any, all, the whole, and everyone, and all things. After the counsel, which means the purpose, volition, and advice of his own will, or what God wishes or has determined shall be done. When we think through these words of Paul, we marvel that God had this purpose in his mind. He desired for us to have his inheritance, which when we realize this was predestinated according to his own will, we should never doubt our value again. God Almighty, the creator of the universe, has predetermined through his son Jesus Christ that we would belong to the elite group of his inheritance. May all glory and praise be unto God for his wonderful predetermination for us to be with him. Next time, Paul shares about us being to the praise of his glory. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.